Following the news these days, you might get the idea that our national economic system isn't doing so well. Some of this general anxiety is natural considering the ongoing effects of the 2008 economic crisis. One topic that is gaining renewed interest is the idea of returning our monetary system to the so-called gold standard. At some point, most of the world's economies, including the United States, were based on a gold standard. But before we go any further, let's start at the beginning. What is the gold standard and how does it compare with our current monetary system? A gold standard is a monetary system where the government links the value of its paper money to a stock of gold reserves. Under a gold standard, the government defines a dollar to be a specific weight of gold. And a dollar bill is defined to be a, a paper object that's made redeemable in that specific uh, dollar weight of gold. So for example, as was the case in the, uh, in the United States in the early uh, 20th century, uh, the definition of a dollar was taken to mean one twentieth of an ounce of gold. And so a dollar, it would take twenty dollar bills to purchase one ounce of gold. The United States ended its attachment to the gold standard in 1971, converting to a 100% fiat money system. Today, there isn't a single country that backs its currency with gold. But what are the key differences between a fiat system and a currency backed by gold? Under a fiat money system, a dollar is just an accounting unit. A dollar bill is no longer made redeemable in gold or any other asset. However, paper money is stipulated as legal tender. That is to say, people can legally pay their debts, including taxes, using paper money. So paper money circulates because it is convenient as a payment instrument and it can be used to discharge debt. 